Hey friends, I'm here at the 2019 AC Conference with Michael Anderson, astronaut, and we were just talking about composting at the University of Louisville, and so I thought I'd just uh, share with him this little video. So, uh, astronaut Anderson, here's what we do at UofL. Thanks for asking. So this site is about two blocks from the main campus. You enter on the yellow side, you donate at the white square on the far left. There's a compost area, a wood chip area, and an indoor worm room. Uh, this is kind of what it looks like uh, for the most part. We have more dumpsters now, and we have community gardens, but you'll see more of that later. So how did this begin? It was all about breaking new grounds. What's breaking new grounds? It's a project these guys had for their coffee shop, and it was about using uh, coffee grounds to make a sustainable economy and to help people out and teach them how to grow their own food. So they got me hooked, and I started doing that. You can check out the Breaking New Grounds documentary on YouTube if you want to hear more about about what I did and how it related to Will Allen. I met Justin Mogg in 2009, and man, doesn't that guy look great? Pew, you put a tie on him and he loses 10 years, just like that. Anyway, he is the driving force behind UofL Sustainability, and he helped get this whole thing together. At the UofL Community Composting Project, we wanted to prove the concept from 2010 to 2012, and that was to prove that you could compost on campus using all these different uh, inputs. Uh, we use trash uh, for everything. We pull things out of the trash and turn them into vessels like this one, an old dumpster for example to compost in. And we make compost at the end of the day. That's the name of the game. Hand tools and stuff out of the trash. Sometimes you're up to your knees in coffee grounds. It can get out of hand. <laughs> Sometimes really out of hand. But we end up with compost at the end. From 2012 to 2013 we had vehicles, worms, and partners. First thing you'll see here is uh, one of our composting vans. Yes, all of that material came out of that one van in one day. Oh man, it's a bunch of work. We did a lot of work in this time period to educate the campus community about what we were doing with scraping stations. We got a lot of people involved. A lot of students learned how to compost. This is a hybrid community and campus group that did a lot of composting work during this period. Uh, we compost year-round. We're out there every Sunday of the year, sometimes during the week, uh, for a volunteer day. And we get the composting done. We bring in a lot of different groups. Uh, community groups, religious groups, groups from other universities. We have about 500 students uh, and community partners come through during the year to help us out and we also give compost away to uh, 50, about 50 individuals and 25 uh, community groups and businesses. This is our worm room, one iteration of it. It makes red wigglers, Asenia fetida, that's our uh, go-to worm. Aren't they beautiful? And look at the worm eggs pop in there. That's how you know you got a nice habitat when they're reproducing in it. We are a licensed composting facility from the city of Louisville. We work with Black Acre Nature Conservancy and Raising Hope Organic Farm to increase their compost capacity. Louisville Compost Co-op picks up stuff from the community and brings it to us for composting and we go to this condominium complex 1400 Willow and we get compostables from their residents in five gallon buckets. This restaurant works with us to compost pre and post consumer food waste and now you get a nice opportunity to see the students doing the work. Uh, this is our site uh, just a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we have uh, members of the campus community and of the larger community uh, out here for their own reasons. Everybody's got their own deal going on processing the food waste. Uh, different people are working on different aspects of it. As you see, we have uh, active piles. Um, that we're working on. We Everything is from the trash, including the plants. Uh, we salvage them and then we try to grow them experimentally in different conditions at the site. Uh, these are our buckets for our community partners. Uh, they uh, purchase those from us and then they can use them for bringing compost to the site. We use our vans these days since they came from the trash and broke down again. <laughs> we use them for closets. Uh, they've been decorated by art classes and in the case of the other one, uh, decorated by, well this one was decorated by an art class for sure. 
Um, also, we have all of these appliances. Uh, those appliances are there uh, for us to modify them to use them for uh, various kinds of sustainable action. This is the uh, the other compost van. It was painted by a local artist, and we use it to store our coffee bags from our partners and our gardening supplies on the site. These are the different kinds of containers we have for different community partners. We typically rinse them uh, and then return them to the partners so we have extras. These are the ones for that condominium I talked about, 1400 Willow. And then, of course, plenty of others and a beautiful shot there of our compost machine. Uh, there's our water source. Thank God for that. And the university really helps us out by giving us water and giving us uh, this site without making us pay for it. Um, the students will process this, and it'll take about three months for this to turn into soil. Uh, sometimes it happens in a dumpster. You can see that one there. Uh, but overall, we have mulch on the site, and we're very happy with the student work. Um, these two students are really the core of what we do, in addition to our vermiculturist, who you'll see very shortly. Here's a satisfied customer walking away with an empty compost bucket. you got to like that. Here's a quick shot of our worm room, some of the vermicompost we're making, and uh, it's really great to see the worms doing such good work.